Give me some audio. Testing. One, two, three, four. I don't talk like that, so I guess that's not accurate. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Leslie with Music and Mascara, and today we're going to be talking about the convection microwave oven. So of course in most RVs, there's a microwave of some type. Um, this to me is just a microwave. I didn't know any different. I've only had a microwave. So when we were shopping for an RV, I wanted a microwave for the convenience, and I also wanted an oven with a stove. Um, because you think of the oven and we roast a lot of things we like to bake so of course you think you need an oven for those things I'm gonna tell you we've never even lit the pilot light in the oven because I've not used it since I discovered how to use the convection microwave so we're going to talk about a few things that you can do because maybe you're still thinking oh it's just a microwave it can absolutely be a microwave what it can also be is your oven so convection oven is a drier heat um, and you can cook traditional things that you think of putting in the oven like pizza um, we're going to talk about Dylan's change from microwave nachos to oven baked nachos we are going to bake cinnamon rolls another appliance that we didn't want to you can't tell right now but all these things live on the counter we didn't want anything permanently on the counter though so we don't have a toaster so what do you do about toast or bagels and we actually do all of that in this convection oven also um, so we'll also show you just normal microwave cooking of a burrito so we're just going to talk about a lot of things a lot of things that it can do um, and how you can take advantage of it and maybe you don't have to worry about needing an oven so one of the first thing you'll notice if you don't even notice that the buttons are different if you open it up Here's a metal rack in this microwave. Metal. Um, if you're like me and you grew up being terrified that you might actually put some foil or some kind of piece of metal in the microwave, transitioning to convection microwave is hard. I will admit it, it's hard. So in addition, you'll notice there's some extra buttons. There's this bake button here, and then you can see here where you're typically used to see in the minutes, there's some um, temperatures here too. And, you use that for the bake function so let's talk about baking in this convection oven we are going to make a pizza so the thing about whether I was using this RV oven or this convection oven the size is small so um, I don't necessarily have a pan that this pizza fits on so I'm gonna use that forbidden tin foil in this convection oven and I just usually cover the rack that way nothing falls through so we just click the bake button it automatically comes up with a temperature here and I am going to choose the temperature that I would like to cook this at and I'm gonna push start so once the oven is preheated I just set up the pizza and put it on the tin foil like we talked about the one thing I failed to mention, um, we've set this preheat for 425 in the convection oven, even though the directions say 450. You can use the same amount of cooking time, but you want to make sure that you reduce the degrees on the convection oven by 25 degrees Fahrenheit less. So it's 425, even though the directions say 450 to cook it in this convection oven. All right, so you hear it beeping, it's ready. Sounds just like a microwave, right? But we cooked pizza in the convection oven. I'm just gonna use this cutting board to pull out this tin foil and keep on a flat surface. Tin foil in convection oven, kind of a mind shift. Um, but also you can look at it and it browned up really nicely and it's not soggy microwave pizza because we cooked it in the oven. All right, so we're gonna make some popcorn in our microwave. Um, so we have made popcorn many different ways. We used to make it um, when we had our house on the stove with some coconut oil. Um, but again, that's using oil and we're trying to use less oil. Um, and then we had access to an air popper, which is nice. And then there's no oil. But now we're here and how do we want to make popcorn? So I found this is silicone. So it's just a floppy and it folds down compact it has a lid all of this is silicone but this just pops up um, so it's your popcorn bowl it cooks in here and then of course you can eat right out of the bowl and it has a couple of there's two lines here on the bottom this is like for one measurement 
and it says don't go above that next line when you put your kernels in there. So this is the cheapest, easiest way to make popcorn. You literally just pour it in. And you can see that I didn't go over the second line there. And you just lay this so it doesn't like lock in or anything. You just literally, it just kind of lays in there. And then we're going to pop it in the microwave. All right, let's take a look. So it has these nice little handles on there because it is hot. You just microwave this whole thing. See how the lid is in a different place now. And there is the fresh popcorn. You can add butter if you wanted and we just usually salt ours. And for the record, we're like at a rest area with the generator running. Yes. Get popcorn. Yes, hot pop, we'll leave a link. All right, so now we are going to just microwave regular microwave burrito. The reason I want to show you this, we've all, we've talked about the microwave and obviously it is a microwave, but the difference I want you to see is this terrifying part in the microwave with this cooking rack like an oven. You actually leave it in there when you microwave things and it works great just like using a metal pan. It's crazy. So another thing I want to talk about is nachos. So Dylan loves to eat nachos and he was just using the microwave for that. But when you have the option to easily use the convection oven, he decided that those extra crispy chips and the cheese melts different in the oven. So started enjoying those oven baked nachos. So here you can see that we baked some cinnamon rolls. Um, baking was one of those things I wasn't quite sure. You know, sure you could cook something in there, roast fine. Um, but baking is a whole other animal and they came out perfectly. And I drizzled the icing on top just for all you OCD people. <laughs> so we mentioned that we didn't have a toaster. That was, uh, you know, you don't always want a toaster, but sometimes you just want toast. Um, so we did figure out how to toast well in the convection oven also. And you can see that these bagels came out perfectly toasted. So I'm glad we took the time to figure out how to use this convection oven. I was super nervous about it. The research is hard to do. Um, I did a lot of searching. So a lot of what we did was experiments and this is why we wanted to share with you how actually easy, convenient, and effective it is actually. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of any other updates. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. You can find us at Music and Mascara.